they even have like a best buy. Make sure you guys bundle up because it's cold. I'm already right, sick yeah. as it is, but. Oh, I don't even... Welcome to the Midwest, people. Fishing convection was a success. Hey, which way are we going? I don't even know where we parked. I swear somebody better not have hit me. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Watch the car be gone. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of The Fishing Dudes. I am Bass and Birdo. This is BFG. And this is E Rigged to my right. Uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about a expo that we went to fairly recently about two weeks ago so yeah so the point of this, this video like i was saying was to let you guys know what we think of the schomburg 2020 fishing expo and outdoor it was like outdoor and fishing yeah, expo. Outdoor fishing. boating outdoor we'll start hey, really, you think it, was worth it? it was worth it um so how much was the entrance entrance was 12 bucks per person 12, yeah, I think it was like twelve bucks. Like twelve bucks per person. Twelve bucks per person, which is <clears throat> reasonable, not, not overly yeah. priced, not twenty dollars or anything. So it was. Mm, it kind of sucked because because of my budget, twenty five bucks. <laughs> that only gets you like two bags of baits. <laughs> but funny story is, found what twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah found twenty bucks. Hawkeye's over yeah, here. Yeah, so he, his budget went <laughs> through the roof, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was twenty dollars. He splurged and bought. Myself a bag, Bass and Berto a bag, and himself a bag. Yeah. So you think it was worth it? It was definitely worth it. You go ahead. Uh, did I think it was worth it? Well, my first experience, yes, it was definitely worth it. All the different lures and stuff, so I really liked it. Uh, and like you said, for the price, uh, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, you know, nothing crazy. So I think it was definitely worth it as my first experience. I would agree with the first experience. I would say if it's your first time going to something like that, it's definitely something to consider. There wasn't as many vendors as I thought would be. Honestly. That was my biggest thing. Yeah. yeah, I think that was everyone's gripe. There <sighs> wasn't big names. Don't get me wrong. There was portions of them like... The secret to catching biggins. Show you. Don't be afraid, boys, girls, likewise. The other thing is, it's got a channel here that protects that hook, but doesn't give a bunch of material that you have to punch through to set that hook. So the hook sits right there in that little channel, protected from getting snagged and slop caught in it. But then when that fish eats it and you set the hook, it's got a lot less material to have to push through to get a hook set on it. So that's why that channel's built in there. We run a five aught screw lock, screw lock hook in these. And again, the keel design, you throw it out there, if it lands sideways or upside down, a couple cranks of your rod, it's gonna ride itself and come through that duckweed or those lily pads and stuff like that. And then when you get to a hole or a spot, you can pause it and it has a nice slow descent to let that fish get aggressive and eat it and then crank it back, a couple turns of the reel and it's right back on top. And these pad feet are bubbling and leaving a bubble trail behind it. Got a camera on. I do got I'll buy some Shimano today. $15 oh. rod. <laughs> it's a it's Shimano. Sorry, this is your budget. Oh, good deal, oh, man. Good he added to the he added to the budget. What did you just what did just happen? What just happened? Show, show what just happened. I got Hawkeyes. I found 20 bucks. Oh, my on man. the ground. I can't, really, I can't do that. You really. saw it. You saw it. That's your no, 20 yeah, bucks. Yeah, we can't do that. I didn't want to make it up because I thought you were going to watch it. You didn't want to make a big scene out of it. Look at him. Look at him. Shot to the pants and bird over here for doing the right thing. But we're all family here, man. We're all guys. We take care of our own. Oh, yeah. Take care of our own. Get your real or what? Sorry, man. So what are we doing? He's got a new budget today. 20 bucks. He's got a new budget. So the 25 just went up. Man, dude, 20 is 20 max.
Should I do it? Should I do it? SLX DC. Too broke. I'm too broke. Dude. Tell him what you bought. That's all you want now. Tell him what you bought. Guy, there's <laughs> force, man. I had to buy a Matinio. Oh, and I got a free hat, though. I you did get a free hat. hat. Check him out. Right Check him out. Just for shouting him out, man. He owes me a second hat. Yeah. All right, so we're going crazy right now trying to find an ATM. This man's trying to sell us some Power Pro. Super cheap. He can't even sell it, but he's still selling it anyway. He's going to rip it off of his showcase. I'm trying to find an ATM right now. All right, so what are we doing? Pulling out cash. I finally found we some. We won't try to get his pin here. So. I found uh, some of that Power Pro Super Slick V2 stuff. Guy wants to do a deal for 15 bucks. We doing it though? So I'm gonna get two of them. Yeah. <laughs> he only wants cash, so we gotta withdraw some cash while I'm waiting. Baller over here. He well rigged, how's the budget, man? Sucks, bro. I only got $3 left. <laughs> I can't buy anything at this point. Well, yeah, we can go back to that one if we can find that 99 cent stuff. All right. Yeah, so what do you guys you, think? Sales are you, worth it? Are you getting the some of that? I, I want the black one, the Onyx. The 30 pound or 40 pound? 30 pound. Damn. Why? You want the 30 pound? Like, you know what? I could do. You, you like 40 pound though, right? Yeah, I do Let like 40 pound. Let me get the 30 pound. Okay. Because I'm going to get it in the moss green and then the black. All right. All right. Alright, now I need to get... So guys, he's screwing me over. You know what? I'll get the 30 moss green and I'll get the 40 black. We'll see what he makes up his mind here shortly. Alright, stay tuned. We're still going, man? We're still balling. We're still okay. good. We're still going? We're still going? We're still good. No limit. No budget. Ah. So $60 later, what just happened? We got our Pro V Slick. I got it in... Uh, this one is the Onyx 40 pound. And then I got 30 pound moss green. Okay, okay. So, Comment we'll, down below, guys, if that was plug of the day or not. We'll, uh, Sales here at we'll the Expo. Give it a try. So I'm usually let everybody know what this like. Say 32, but uh, oh, I've heard some okay. good stuff about this. Comparison. But we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it, guys. Let us know what you guys like better. 832 or that super slick thing. The pickles, bro. The garlic over here, right? Or pickles? No, what is pickles it? Pickles over there. Pickles? Straight pickles. Yeah. Go I don't even know if I can taste pickles right now. Like reaction. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Ooh, I didn't like that one, man. I'm sorry. That's all right. Ma'am. Ooh, I didn't like that one, man. I'm sorry. That's all right. You don't have to eat it. I don't know what that tastes like. He didn't like it, guys. He couldn't do it. Rancho Bay? Very Rancho good. Bay, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> Sam was here. It is spicy, but it might be the next one. That's pretty good, though. I'm just, gonna, I'm just not going to get any pickles. That was pretty good. No pickles, huh? That's, I'm just gonna. I'm just not going to get any pickles. That was pretty good. No pickles, huh? That's the one. Yes. The blazing bubble. All right, guys. Comment down below. Berto, how many likes so you could try the Carolina Reaper? 50 million. Man. <laughs> Dude, if this video gets a... 50 likes, I'll try it. I'll say it out loud. Carolina Reaper, aka Bass and Birdo Killer. Beware. What does it say? Beware. Oh shit. Not that part. <laughs> Alright. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Some people say the ghost pepper is hotter, so. Wanna go for the ghost pepper? Oh, that's not that bad, actually. No? I'll try the ghost dude, pepper. I'll try the ghost pepper. I promise you, dude. Try it. Everybody was probably thinking it was going to be bad. Nothing? Check this out. Two of them, man. Two of them. Thousand likes. He gave no care not whatsoever. Not, not spicy at all. We'll ask him later when he visits the restroom. <laughs> uh -oh. That's actually really good. There yeah. you go. Thank you. Yeah, defend me. Yeah. You? No, no, in our luck, bro, we would not win that. Uh, yeah. No. See, dude, with Jessica? Still 
I sell it. Yeah, one year warranty, man. It's like. Well, I mean, in that case, why didn't we get the other one? Because it was lifetime warranty. And that was only 80 bucks. Uh, yeah, that's true. But see, at least, at least on that one, they had the info. You can get it online. Yeah, yeah. Like, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they even have like a best buy. Make sure you guys bundle up because it's, it's cold. cold. I'm already as sick as it is, but. Oh, I don't even know if that's a hoodie. Oh, man. You should have just stayed back up and get the car. Ah, people. Fishing convection was a success. Hey, which way are we going? I don't even know where we parked. Where are we eating? Well, didn't you say you wanted pizza? Yeah, I don't know. I, that, that, I looked at the pizza and the pizza looked good. At that I point? it's going to look good, bro. <laughs> let me, let me What'd up. you guys think? Was it a success? No. Yeah. I yeah. wish, honestly, I wish it was a little bit bigger. Oh my god, come on, man. I know, sorry. That's my bad. That is still not so bad. We're in the car now, nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the heater's just started to go on. It is 4 30, so the fishing expo is just about almost done. We're starving. Bass and Birdo walked out with. We can't. Gotta. There you go. Corrado. <laughs> Corrado. That's the Corrado K. 201. Obviously, they forced me to go in with a Metanium. I typically like left hand retrieve, but I ended up getting a right hand retrieve. It was way too good of a deal. To it was way too good of a deal. Yeah. It was, what, $300 you got, you got out the door? Bucks. Yeah. Brand new Metanium. From Metanium. Brand new. Out the door. So, tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Let us know, was that dumb? Was that good? Would anybody else have done it? If you're naturally a left-hand retriever, would you go ahead and buy a right-hand retrieve for something that's that cheap <laughs> over there? You should ask him, be like, hey, who wants to buy metanium? <laughs> Sell it all. Right Sell up. For 300 bucks. Yeah, all right. <laughs> get my money back. Uh, $25 more, how's that? So I could at least get my meal paid for. <laughs> but other than that, Fishing Expo was a success. This is Fishing Dudes, checking out.